Alright, today I'll show you how to set up your first local model for use on an N8N server and such. There are many open source models available which we'll look at now. We'll get them through LM Studio, okay? This program also lets us link these models to an API. What's an API? An API connects apps to each other. That's a quick way to explain it. So, we'll go to LM Studio and click on, well, my models shows our models and here we'd click discover. As I said, there are all kinds of models. Here's our computer's hardware specs if needed. Let's select DeepSeek underscore. As you see, there are many DeepSeek options, okay? Including ones by others. I recommend using the official method. Just click get on this green button, okay? We'll wait for the model to load. As you can see, I had another model here. Let's, oh no, it's just coming from, a... it's coming from the program itself, NVIDIA CUDA, which helps run these models better. Let's wait for it to finish saving. All right, we have the model here in the My Model section. If we want to chat with this model, we just select it and let's say hello and see what it replies. Keep in mind this runs locally, so it might be slow or cause issues on modest setup. It'd be great if CUDA finished because otherwise it won't work. See here, it shows 2 GB of RAM, okay? And, well, I've written hello, and I'll ask, tell me the days of the week. It'll think like normal deep seek, okay? As you see, it thinks fast and lists Monday, Tuesday, it's... So there you have it, it's now functional. Alright, so how do we check if LM Studio, once we have our model, in this case DeepSeeker R1, is running in the cloud via an API or local server? Well, for example, to connect it to your N8N, right? which, by the way, you can find in the description. Basically, you'll click on activate, okay? Status running, it'll say ready, LLM, deep seek, and so on. Got it? It'll give us four URLs. We'll take the first one, which shows the models, and we'll paste it. We'll enter it. If we see info about our models, like deep seeker R1, it's working correctly. To show you, I'll stop it, put it on stop, and if I reload, you'll see the page won't even load, okay? That's how we can tell if it's working properly or not simple as that. All right, now that we've set up LM Studio, got our model, activated the developer section, and have N8N running locally, we're going to link the model, in this case DeepSeek R1, to our N8N. To do this, we'll go to ChatGPT, okay? We'll create a ChatGPT node, whichever you prefer, ideally one for messaging a model. Select it, then go to Credential and create new credential. In the API key field, you can enter whatever you want. I've used random numbers for org ID, this is all optional. Now let's add the base underscore URL. Got it? To do this, we'll head over to LM Studio's developer section. When we run our server, it'll give us a URL, like localhost. We'll then replace the OpenAI API link with this new one, okay? We'll hit save. The credentials have been saved successfully, alright? Now we need to select a model from the list. We'll click this drop down and our model from LM Studio should appear. Important note, I've used localhost 1234, even though N8N uses 5678. For some reason, the latter didn't work. So I decided to use HTTP. And where's this number? You can find it right here, okay? See it? 127.0.0.1234. Just hit save and it'll connect. Remember, the connection isn't related to memory. Got it? Look. Even if you've mistakenly chosen a much more powerful model than needed, that's not really relevant when it comes to establishing a connection, okay? Let me explain this right away. Now we'd basically select a model, let me see if I can... By the way, I forgot to mention that if you're using Docker to host N8N, you'll need to use this, host.docker.internal comma, okay? This way, the connection between LM Studio and N8N linked via Docker won't collapse, all right? You'll be using an internal connection, got it? Okay, so you can see I, I've already created an input message, which is simply hi, all right? I've written hi here, and it's already loading. As you can see, it's been loading for quite a while, 1 minute 36. This is a 5 gig model. And just so you know, what I've done is connect it by ID, okay? If I connected from the list, it didn't show up, so I just connected it by ID. Where's the ID? Well, it's simple. The ID is in the LM Studio console. When it starts, it shows DeepSeek ID and gives us the ID, okay? So I'm going to finish waiting, all right? But as you can see, it's running, yeah? I'll wait to see how long it takes to respond to hello. This depends on your computer's power, whether it's fast or slow. The model might crash if the query gets too complex, okay? Let's wait and see what happens. Look, I got an error here. The server crashed, okay? but that's normal. I'll select a LIDAR model now. You'll see it can work. In the end, I wrote to Google's Gemma model and it output hi, okay? It says say hi, roll, assistant, content, let's tackle this, ready, and so on. These billion parameter models aren't very useful, but it's just to show you. So that's how it works. I hope you enjoyed it.